Uh, my name is Duff Conacher, and I'm co-founder of Democracy Watch. The commissioner's proposed changes to the lobbyist code would unfortunately allow even more unethical lobbying than is currently allowed. And so it has major loopholes in it that need to be closed or uh, essentially uh, unethical lobbying will increase. Well, the lobbying law currently has huge loopholes that allow lobbying without disclosing and registering. And if you're not registered, you don't have to follow the ethics rules in the lobbyist code. And so all of these loopholes need to be closed to stop secret, unethical, and dishonest lobbying. And also enforcement needs to increase. The commissioner can fail to enforce the lobbying law and code and can't be held accountable uh, to the courts and uh, is also is allowed to issue secret rulings. So all those enforcement measures need to be strengthened as well. Penalties need to be put in place for violating the ethics rules in the lobbyist code not just for violating the, the actual lobbying law. Well, the old commissioner of lobbying set out uh, a prohibition on lobbying a politician or after helping them win election or a government official after doing a favor for them. Uh, and the prohibition ran for five years. The new commissioner of lobbying in 2019 reduced that to four years and then uh, is now proposing to reduce it to one to two years. And that is just far too short a time period if you've done a favor uh, for a politician, helped them win election, uh, or worked for them, and uh, then you really shouldn't be lobbying them for several years because they owe you. They're, they have their job because you helped them. And that conflict of interest created by you helping them lasts for years and years, if not their whole political career. It certainly doesn't magically disappear after one to two years, as the commissioner is proposing. So that, that uh, period of time when you're not allowed to lobby cannot be shortened. It will just allow for unethical lobbying, uh, even more so than is already allowed by the code. The main thing that's hidden and not being talked about is the commissioner's record of secret rulings. And it's hard for the media to cover secrecy because there's nothing to report. But the commissioner is enforcing the law in secret, not disclosing as much as used to be disclosed by the old commissioner about who she's letting off the hook and why and what the cases involve. And uh, that secrecy undermines enforcement. We don't even know whether the commissioner is enforcing the law properly because of this secrecy.